Welcome to MarcusG.TV. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano and I'm a chef on a mission. Jamie, what's today's mission? Today's mission is using good quality products. Yes. It's so tempting as restaurateurs and chefs to buy cheaper products. But why do people buy cheaper products? To save money. Right. To meet food costs. Right. To offer cheaper products to the consumer. Um, but you know, really, it, a lot of times it doesn't pay. I learned a long time ago, Jamie, buying, especially on seafood. And there's a famous quote out there, and I, I don't remember the quote quite exactly, but it's like, if you pay too little, you have the chance of losing everything. If you pay too much, you've simply just paid a little more money, right? So, if something's $5 a pound, and you're gonna have to throw away 10% of it, but if something's $5.50 a pound, and you're not gonna have to throw any away, it's really, it's the same price product, right, Jamie? Right. It's still $5.50 a pound, no matter how you look at it with your waste, versus no waste. So when it comes to seafood especially, Jamie, this is where we, I really got hounded on this years ago as a young chef, as a young cook, you have to buy the more expensive seafood. There's a reason why seafood costs more money because how fresh it is. And of course, we all know seafood is very perishable. So when you walk into a, like a, a fish section of a grocery store or into a fish uh, market, you shouldn't smell fish. Fish shouldn't smell. but a lot of these boats that go out and catch fish will go out for two weeks, three weeks at a time, and when they get back to the dock, all the fish was on ice. So you have what you call top of the trip, that was caught the last couple of days, and so that was caught the first couple of days. Well, that cod is a vast price difference. The cheap stuff goes to the grocery stores, to the price conscious people, to the restaurants that are not gonna pay as much, and guess what happens? They have to throw that product away after a few days because it's not gonna last as long as a product that would have costed 20, 25% more, to even 10% more. So here's a prime example, Jamie, what just happened to us. We just got a phone call for lobsters, right? The lobsters were six fifty a pound. I got a quote from our regular distributor for six ninety nine this week. One would think, oh, six ninety nine, six fifty, buy the six fifty ones. Well I made that mistake a couple weeks ago. Do you remember that Jamie? I bought lobsters sure from did. a different supplier and they were about Not 50 cents cheaper. cheaper. And what happened? I had to throw away three lobsters because the tails disintegrated inside. So lobsters are one of those items that needs to be alive, kicking, and fresh and can't go under any stress. Now it can still be alive and still have stress and still affect the quality of the meat inside because lobsters will start eating out their the insides or flesh. That's how they will, would survive uh, under stress. So if a lobster comes in dead, you have to really question, is this lobster really any good? And we always return dead lobsters, but when they're not dead and they're almost dead, you know, you can't really tell, you have no idea what's inside the meat. You know, a lot of grocery stores, a lot of chefs, when they get watermelon in, they'll cut the watermelon in half and make sure it's good. If not, they'll send the whole batch back. So you can't do that with a lobster because you'd have to cook it, you have to break it apart, and you have to look at it. But the general principle is here, if you think you're saving money, chances are you're probably not. You really have to analyze what's going on as far as the total yield. Now, I, had to, I, had to, I threw away three lobsters that night, Jamie. Yes, you did. Out of 20 lobsters, my, I paid much more than 50 cents more a pound for lobsters that day. So once you find somebody who's very trusted, you definitely want to make sure that you stick with them know what they're doing and of course you have to keep them on their toes as far as pricing uh, but it doesn't hurt to get two or three suppliers that you can really trust on products but I mean this goes across the board to everything I mean everything from pasta to rice I mean you buy a cheaper rice that's gonna stick together it's not gonna cook as good you know it, your customers aren't gonna be as happy so your job as a restaurateur is to actually educate your guests on why your products are far superior to other restaurants now, a perfect example of this is a restaurant down the road, Jamie, knows we do lobster night on Monday nights, knows we do it for $14.99, and just started their lobster night at $13.95. So they undercut us by a dollar. So my job now is to really educate our guests and our non-guests, so I wanted to come in, why our lobsters and why our food in general, we're using better ingredients. And that's the bottom line. Better ingredients, educate, better customer following, and turn customers into advocates. Anything else, Jamie, on that? No, just turning them into advocates yep. and making them understand why you use the products and why we pay the prices and why we charge the prices that we have to charge. And where this really shines, Jamie, 
buying, you know, you know, buying high quality products is wine by the glass program. Because if you serve a cheap glass of wine, and I mean cheap by low quality, no body, you know, lackluster, it's just not performing, the guests won't order a second glass, will they, Jamie? No, they will not. But if you charge, if you have to charge two bucks more, a buck more, whatever you need to get for the glass of wine, if they have a good glass of wine, they're going to want another glass. It's as simple as that. So you're going to lose out. You're going to make more profit by selling a cheaper glass of wine. You're going to make more margin, but you're not going to get the additional sale. And the customer's not going to remember you as, oh, having a better product, having a better item, or, or as a memorable experience. That's what really it's all about. So train your staff, train your guests, be advocates, and keep... Uh, keep buying high quality products. I'm Chef Marcus Giuliano. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, hit like, ask questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching.